Oh, looks like we just hit a de- Oh, you know how this goes. Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Dead End. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We have a nice image of Dead End in his old mode. He is a Deluxe Class, Class Deluxe, Deluxe, Class A, Class A, Deluxe, oh, Transformers. On the side of the box, we have the lovely legacy artwork on this side we have some more lovely artwork of dead end himself up top legacy 305 of menasaur on the bottom words things barcodes on the back of the box obligatory product shots and that's basically it for the packaging then moving right along here we have dead end the next of our legacy stunticon boys and here he is in his robot mode, as always, packed in robot mode. And let's get in close, yes, we can take a look not at his belly, but at his noggin. There's a noggin. See, very nice purple there for the visor. At that mouth plate, painted in. There's a nice dead endy head sculpt there. Black on the chest, Decepticon symbol. You get some nice shades of gray there. Not 50 shades, but some nice shades of gray. Some nice detail on the forearms there. Moving on legs, getting some nice molded details, got his stubby little feet. Um, for the record, I don't like his legs. I hate his legs. The legs just, the legs just look bad. The legs just look bad. Don't like the legs. But the, uh, the rims here, the wheel rims are painted in, in a gunmetal gray. Um, but I don't like the legs. <laughs> Do not like the way they did his legs, but it is what it is. Moving up the back, you got the cart hood hanging out back here. But all in all, you know, everything from like the knees up looks really good. But from the knees down, eh, nah, nah, pfft, no, don't like it, don't like it. But articulation wise, uh, the head, I can't tell if it's on a ball joint. I don't think it is. I think it's just pure rotation, just pure rotation is going on there. Arms can do a full 360, can move in and out. You got bicep rotation, you got 90 degrees of bend there. That's the elbow, um, nothing at the wrist. You do have waist rotation, legs, can go forward that far, back about that far, outward. You can do the full splits, you got thigh rotation. A bit under 90 degrees of bend there at the knee and the feet. They can't move up, they can move down, and you also have a lot of ankle tiltage. Now, as far as accessories go, you get two blasters right here, done in black with some metallic purple. It is a nice design, in my opinion. And of course, you can wield his weapons thusly and uh, thusly, and he can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang, and all of that good stuff right there. And are the guns bluish compatible? Well, uh, no, not really, not really. I mean, the posts are there, but they're just not, uh, just not really enough to kind of, eh, yeah, I don't know, I, I, I think I'm going to call this one not bluish compatible. It wants to be, it really wants to be, but not really, not... That one kind of, but it, uh, you know what? I'm calling it not. I'm calling it not. Making a decision here. I'm calling it not bluish compatible. Get over here with your stubby little stupid toes. Get <laughs> So there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with the Combiner Wars. Dead end. So you can see how that works out. And here he is with G1 Dead End. Because precious. Oh, precious. And let's bring in the rest of the Stunticon boys here. Get us a nice group shot, and we can see how the team is coming along. And the team is coming along quite, quite nicely as far as I'm concerned. So, there you go. So that is basically it for the robot mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So... What we need to do is we need to first take these forearm panels here, just rotate them down. Once you do that, rotate this wheel down like that. And second verse, just like the first, just rotate that panel down, rotate this wheel down like so. And that's good to go. Then you want to come back here, you want to untab the entire backpack like so, and that will allow you to bring 
these whole sections down and then you can take the head and that will just flip back and sit in there like that. Once you've done that, you want to bring up this entire arm armature and it will tap together right here up top and then you bring the arms down and they will just clip in on either side right there like so. Then you can close that up, uh, untab the hood section from the roof, bring that forward. There are little tabs in here that will go into slots right up in here. Bring that down and just get it all tabbed in like that. Get it all sitting nice and flush like so. And we have the front of the vehicle all done. So as far as the back goes, you just take the toes, just flip them back to fill that in. Open up these panels here, the front of the legs. Untab those, clip the legs together like that. And then all of this will collapse in like so. And you have a tab slot connection right here. Just make sure it tabs in on either side like that. And you just close these panels up. And on mine, I can never, I always end up with a gap here. Things always end up sitting very misaligned. And I try to get things lined up and then there's a gap here. I just don't know. I could be doing something wrong. I mean, I have this, I have this clip in like as far as I could push it in. I don't know. It's just, this is something that's definitely annoying me about this figure. So I had this clipped in like as far as it would go. It really doesn't want to go any farther. Like it just kind of, when I get it clipped all the way in, it just kind of pushes itself out. And I don't know, maybe that's something I can kind of rework with a hair dryer, kind of get that moving a little bit more. I don't know. There's probably a way to troubleshoot that, but I'm not sure. I have to, I have to experiment. I have to do a little bit of experimenting, but in theory, you should get everything nice and lined up. And it should look the way it's supposed to look, but I can't get it all to line up perfectly. But for the most part, there he is. There is Dead End in his alt mode. You can get a good spin out of him, though. Oh, you can get a very good spin out of him. But there he is. And it's a nice Dead Endy alt mode. I like it. I can work with it. We're getting close here, so we can take a look at the details. You got the headlights there picked out in the gunmetal gray. You got the stripe there in a gold and silver. That looks quite nice. It goes all the way down the length of the car. The windshields and windows just done in black. Again, you got the gunmetal gray there for the rims. Back, nothing painted on the back. Yeah, there is the top. There is the bottom. You just have visible chest syndrome, but otherwise everything else is pretty well covered up. He does roll as rolling things should. Hooray! Hooray for rolling. And for comparison, here it is with the Combiner Wars version of Dead End. And here it is with G1 Dead End. Because precious, oh so precious. And lastly but not leastly, let's bring in the other Stunticon boys here. And take a look at how the team is shaping up. And they are shaping up quite quite nicely so there you go now as far as the blasters go yes you can store these in the alt mode you have these two ports right back here you just plug it in plug it in plug it in plug it in and there you go you can pew pew bang bang pew pew bang bang as he drives so there you have that so now it's time for the fun part. It's time to add him to the mighty Menasaur here. So he works just like Dragstrip does. So you're just going to plug him in using all these posts and ports and whatnot. And you have a tab in there that will push a release button. And when you do that, you can just split him in half. And then just transform the arm. Get that all situated. And there he is. In our mode, and I love the way that works. I love the way that works. So we just drop it down, clip that in, and there we go. Now that's looking much, much cooler. We just have we just got one more space to fill there, but looking good so far. Looking really good. So there you go. 
So there you have Dead End, and uh, yeah, um, from the knees up, looks great. From the knees down, bad. <laughs> Just, I don't like the way they did his legs, but from the knees up, looks great. Um, the car mode looks good. Um, I just have an issue getting that back to, uh, you know, come together uh, flush. Again, I could be doing something wrong, or there's something I could try to fix. I don't know. I'll see what I can do about that, but um, not bad for the most part, and very happy to have another member of the Stunticon boys. So yeah, four down, one to go. So there you go. Now I picked this guy up from Robot Kingdom, but you can also get legacy figures from BigBadToyStore.com. As always, linked in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the legacy playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Dead End, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Palm in your face! Ah, yes! The next of my Stunticons is finally online! And you are... I'm dead end. And will you obey my orders? I, I guess I'll have to do what you say. Yes! Yes, you will! Now go get me a burrito! Yeah, I'll do that later. What? But, but you said you'd do whatever I say. Yeah, but on my own time. You're, you're not the boss of me. That's exactly what I am!